The U.S. Energy Department is pouring $2 billion into America's aging electrical grid. The funding will add more power capacity to make the grid more resilient against extreme weather. Upgrading and adding to America's aging electrical infrastructure is seen as critical amid extreme weather and increased demand from data centers, AI, and electric vehicles. A White House climate official said building out transmission lines and upgrading grid infrastructure will also help increase capacity for clean energy. The funding comes from the 2021 Bipartisan Infrastructure Law. Meanwhile, uh, the Biden 2022 climate law is also spurring new investments in clean energy. In other national headlines, here's Alan Miller. Well, Monica, the Justice Department says a Pakistani man, it says, has ties to Iran, has been charged in a plot to carry out political assassinations on U.S. soil. Asif Mershant is accused of traveling to New York to try to hire a hitman. The plot was disrupted before it could be carried out. Prosecutors didn't identify any of the potential targets, but the case was unsealed just weeks after the disclosure of a threat on former President Trump's life. Tensions are extremely high in the Middle East following a rocket attack yesterday that injured several U.S. personnel at a coalition's forces air base in Iraq. The U.S. has ordered additional military assets as it braces for retaliation against Israel over the assassination of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran last week. A possible tornado spawned by deadly tropical storm Debbie left a trail of damage in South Carolina this morning. Residents believe a twister touched down north of Charleston. Tornadoes were also confirmed last night in two other communities. Debbie is expected to dump more heavy rain and has, has the potential to cause catastrophic flooding. And one of the stories we're working on for First News at 6, some new flood control proposals in Bismarck could affect some softball diamonds. Back to you, Monica.